Hello and welcome to my simple, well, simple as can be tutorial of how to unlock a flash game from a certain domain. And I'll give you an example. Let's go to adult swim. I'm not going to really go into details of how to download thing, download this uh, SWF because it's fairly self explanatory. Uh, let's see here. I'll start with this guy right here. Since I know it has uh, site lock or domain lock, whatever you want to call it, URL lock. URL lock. <coughs> so here's the game, and this is where I download it from. Save it right onto the desktop just for convenience. And the game is fine, don't worry about it. <coughs> so let's save that. Once it's unloading, it'll actually save it. And scan viruses. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and ignore this page for now. At least see it's playing normally. I'm here and I try to open this one. <coughs> you can see as soon as it loads, it says, "Hey, want to really play this game? It will leave a law. It won't let you play." So, I'm gonna teach you how to get rid of this. First of all, you want to open this game up and so think SWF decompiler. Now we're not actually gonna decompile the code, so you don't have to worry about recompiling it. So we're just gonna open it right up in there. I'm lazy, so I just went ahead and dragged it on there. It didn't work though. I don't know why. Sometimes it does. It does not. So I'm going to open up this file here. And it's going a little slow for some reason, but it will eventually open up. And we have the actions right here, which is basically all the code behind this entire game. Now sometimes it's not as easy to find the main code, but in this one, in case, this case it's right here. Now, in almost all cases, in fact I think all of them, you'll have the URL as uh, the action, action script that you want to find. URL is basically what you want to look for. And I think even more specifically, underscore URL. So I'll search all action script just to show you an example if I didn't know where it was at. <coughs> and it will search. And I didn't find anything, so let's just try it without it. I'm being too specific. There we are. Uh, we see string loader URL. Let's see, string loader URL, uh, string loader URL, trace statement, which is basically just for debugging. String half URL equals string loader URL. <coughs> so this looks pretty interesting. We know that uh, they, they have the Adult swim domain equals adult swim. So basically, right there, it's checking to see if it's an all adult swim or not. You also see this uh, enabled log. And I know just from earlier, I don't have to look it up. I know this is a boolean that's set to false by the lock, by, or sorry, set to uh, true by default. So this will always uh, work. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this if statement um, it never it never works. It never gets to bust it. Because that's where actually sending the code to uh, stop you from getting in the game. Alright, so <coughs> let's go ahead and figure out where this is at. Now, we have to do that, you gotta look at the raw, raw data. And I know that bust it is within that function. So, I'll get the raw data, and I'll search for bust it. And that's the actual 
function I want to be where it's calling it, which is right here, call property busted. So as you can see, right here it's checking if the value it put in up wherever, up here somewhere, is false, then offset six, which means it just skips uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. So it skips all those whenever this is false. Basically that's what that means. Uh, you can think of everything offset by the actual hex values. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Just to reiterate. Or sorry, don't count these. <laughs> I'm being done now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it would skip those if that's false. So that means that since the value is set to true, that this will never be correct. This will never skip these things because it's always going to be set to true, correct? So what we're going to do, we know that this 12 right here is if false. And I know from looking at the op operation codes that 11 is if true. So if it's true, then skip those things. So that's what we want it to do, because it's always going to be true, so we want to say, if it's true, then skip bust it, which is this function right here. We don't ever want that to be called. So I, I, I'm going to copy these, uh, this, this block of code right here. And copy more than just this part, because there's going to be many 12s. You know, I mean, there's going to be tons of if statements in there. Uh, so I'll go ahead and copy from right here to about, uh, since it's 6, we know that that's all going to be there. So I'm just going to say all that right there. I'll copy that, and I'll come over here and I'll pad. I'll paste it in. And <coughs> I'm, the, the hex is all I'm really looking for. And all I'm really looking to change is that 12 to an 11. I'll delete all this crap to make it easier on myself. Right. Oops. And I'll come here and I'll delete all this crap. And I'll come here and delete all this crap. Alright, so now I have this uh, unique hex values that will be found in my hex header. So I can actually minus this out right here. And I'm going to unzip it with my 7-zip just because. Uh, that's how I do things. I'll extract it here. And as you can see, it made a file which is actually slightly bigger than that one because it's unzipped. Uh, not by much. Only like a megabyte, but you know, whatever. In online, that matters. I'm going to go ahead and open this up in my hex editor, which isn't free right now. I need to get that for free. Wink, wink. <coughs> but, anyways, and all I do is I search for it, search for my values that I copy. Make sure it's on hex values. These are my hex values I want to find. Hit OK. And it found two. Now that's because, if you notice, which I didn't show you, uh, if you notice, basically there's the, the same exact if statement twice. It's almost exactly the same. Um, yeah, so that's why it's doing that. Uh, it, it, yeah, it looks different, but it's exactly the same syntax when it comes to uh, procedural languages. So that's why you see two of them. And we actually want to change both of them, because we want to make sure that either situation, that neither times it, it will ever be uh, true, or it'll always be true, so it always skips it. So we change both those to 11, save it, and uh, now I'm good. I don't really care about backing it up. Go ahead and minus this out, and we'll run the game and see if that works. And there's the opening. So it worked. We got past it, loaded really quick, and we're into the game. So that's basically it. Um, there isn't much more to it. <coughs> there is some other things that can get in your way, like outside files or dummy files that load the actual game. Uh, those can be a pain in the ass. And I, I can sh I can do another tutorial on that, but for now I think this is good enough. So. Um, I'm Crum110487. I'm glad I could help you in cracking these games today. Have a good one.